Hi everyone. Uh, I hope you're well. My name is Ryan and uh, I'm an elementary school teacher in Ontario and uh, I love to I love to teach uh, students math. It's my it's my favorite subject and um, I when I teach math I love to use pixels. I love to use tablets, computers, software, all kinds of fun stuff to teach it because I believe that pixels affect perception and uh, I think that one of my favorite resources to teach with is Google Earth. Without a doubt it's uh, it's a powerful tool and I've, I've used it um, for social studies, for history and geography in particular and a, a lot of teachers use it for that but um, I've also used it for math and uh, I have a YouTube video where I use the Leaning Tower of Pisa to teach measuring angles. And that was the first YouTube video I ever posted. And uh, it's been incredibly successful. And uh, I've been very fortunate and very blessed um, to have the, the views over the last year. Um, so I'm going to start to post a few more videos. And I thought of this idea uh, a few days ago. And uh, I wanted to share it with you. So it's, it has to do with um, symmetry, and symmetry is a, a Greek word. It actually it comes from the word symmetria, um, meaning measured together. And when you teach symmetry or students, when you learn symmetry, it has to do with two sides um, that are equal. And they could be, you know, if you're looking at a horizontal, sim horizontal symmetry, you would look at the top and the bottom and see if they're equal. If you look at the picture in front of you, this isn't something that's symmetrical because on this side you have orange, an orange smart board, and on this side you have nothing. So that doesn't work. But if you look at the A and you cut that right up the middle, you can see that it's pretty even on both sides, even though the font's kind of funky. Um, it, it works. The T is another one. If you cut that up the middle, um, you've got a little loopy side here, and that loopy side is equal on this side and down the middle you know it's stiff as a board where the E and the R that wouldn't work it's it's not equal on both sides um, so anyways in uh, in the Ontario curriculum symmetry starts in grade two you can see here the students said uh, that would be seven year olds need to learn how to locate the line of symmetry in a two-dimensional shape and it goes right up to grade six uh, formally in grade seven and eight um, rotational symmetry is lumped in with geometry and you've got um, rotational geometry trans translations reflections that type of thing uh, it gets a bit funky with Cartesian planes but um, you can see from grades two through six uh, the word symmetry is, is prominent it's front and center uh, when you get into geometry so anyways I wanted to give you a fun way to learn symmetry and I'm gonna open up my Google Earth bar here and uh, I'm using just as an aside the smart notebook recording software if you have a suggestion on something that's a little better um, please drop it in the comment box I'd love to hear your ideas so here we are in Canada I'm down in Ontario right down in here and up in the top here I'm gonna punch in the Taj Mahal and I want to use the Taj Mahal to talk about symmetry with you. As the earth spins, you're going to see it drag a little bit. And my apologies for that. It's, it's just how quickly the earth moves and how slowly the uh, recording software picks it up. But um, you'll see as it generates and it, it focuses in, it, uh, it looks a little bit better. Um, the Taj Mahal is uh, is a white mausoleum. It's a marble mausoleum, actually, and uh, it was built in 1648 by an emperor. Uh, the man's name was Emperor Shah, and he actually built it in memory of his third wife, which really makes me think: What did his first and his second wife get? Because this uh, this thing built for his third wife is is pretty special, and one of the th the things that you can see here just as I'm talking about it you can see that it's pretty even on both sides and that idea of symmetry 
was very important for him. Down here in the bottom I have the 3D buildings uh, checked off. If I uncheck it, you can see that this drops down to a two-dimensional flat image. If I click on the 3D buildings and I zoom in a little bit, you can see here that it's uh, it's blown up in three-dimensional in 3D. So I want to use this uh, 3D image to look at um, symmetry. And just from this view here, you can see you've got three domes and two large brown ones on the outside. You flip over here, you've got the exact same image. So this here is symmetrical. If you look at the Taj Mahal, you've got one, two pillars, and you've got two on this side. If I zoom in, each pillar has one, two, three parts to it. If you look over here, it's got one, two, three parts. So even if I slide this more front and center, you can see the symmetry in this building that's almost 400 years old. It's symmetrical. And it's, it's quite beautiful, if you ask me. Um, let's go down and take a look at it a little bit closer. We'll take our Street View dude, and we'll put him right down here. This blue area here is a water. It's a fountain. So we'll drop him on the pathway right beside. And... Uh, you can see there, beautiful building. If I take my snipping tool here, and we zoom in just a little bit more, take an image of that, you can see that this window here peaks, comes down and across. If I cut that in half, it's pretty similar. If you look over here, you've got one, two, three, four windows. One, two, three. Exactly the same on each side. So, for something to be built with that much precision, I think is pretty special. Okay, uh, if I turn my arrow here, and you look at this garden. Now, don't mind this yellow view here. Uh, maybe I'll move over a little bit. Okay, so if you look at this garden here, and I cut this in half down the middle, you can see, just if you follow your eyes, it's symmetrical on both sides. Now, don't mind this tree in front here. But all of the gardens and all of the pathways are symmetrical all the way down. And even the hedges, this hedge here lines up with this hedge. Uh, this hedge here lines up with this hedge over here. If I exit Street View and I come out a little bit, you can see the symmetry in the design. It's almost like something put down on paper and then the scale is just blowing up and you can see how the symmetry folds even in the gardens. It's really quite beautiful. So what we'll do is we'll come down here. There's two other things I want to show you. Okay, so here we are. If you look down on the ground, look down on the ground, you've got a six-sided polygon here. This six-sided polygon is a hexagon. And if you cut that in half, right down the middle, this side here is equal to this side over here. If you look at this pentagon, one, two, three, four, five, that splits down the middle as well. And then right in the middle you have a square right in here. That square is symmetrical on both sides. So the, the patio, the gardens are symmetrical. 
the patio stones are symmetrical and the big giant beautiful building is symmetrical as well and I'll show you a little zoom in a little closer uh, this tile here I think is really beautiful oh let's go back up I'll hop the fence okay so as this generates itself you can see the patio I mean you could take tile blocks at your school and you could create a pattern like this and it's it's just gorgeous you can see the symmetry right here even in the design okay so these flowers are symmetrical and this guy here if I cut that right in half you can see this side here is symmetrical over here even the little loop boop, boop, it's symmetrical I mean it's, it's absolutely gorgeous when you think about you know how, how incredible and how precise this building was created okay so we're gonna hop up here and we'll just look at a few more examples let's uh, let's take a look at this okay take a look at this beauty all the zigzags are all symmetrical right beside each other if you look at the star right here this is all symmetrical as well and if I slide over can't see it very well but this natural stone actually cuts this in half as well it's really quite cool I mean I can we can just go around and explore and I encourage you to do that I mean open up Google Earth at school or open it up at home on your iPad and you punch in the Taj Mahal up in the top and just go exploring and, and you know write down or draw a dozen ways maybe you could do that for homework draw a dozen ways that uh, or a dozen examples rather of, of symmetry that you see in the Taj Mahal and you remember back at the beginning I said that symmetry was the Greek word symmetria which means measured together because if you cut this in half and you measure these two sides together you can see how equal they are it's really quite amazing now just one thing to note this is symmetrical vertically if I cut it down the middle I'll show you. If you cut it down the middle, it's symmetrical, but it's not symmetrical horizontally because you can see that this side here opens up at the bottom, where this side here closes in at the top. So it's not symmetrical horizontally, it's definitely not symmetrical diagonally. but it is symmetrical vertically and I think that's important to note as well so anyways uh, that's just an idea teachers of, of how you could teach symmetry um, students if you want a, a challenge go home and, and take a look around the Taj Mahal and you know come back tomorrow and, and show your class or show your parents at home some different ways that uh, you can see symmetry and um, I encourage you to continue using Google Earth as you learn math because looking at buildings around the world it's it's really quite quite beautiful uh, thanks for watching uh, please subscribe I also have a teachers pay teachers account and there's a link in my YouTube account um, to that and uh, if I haven't posted a paper lesson uh, to this idea um, it may be coming shortly but um, there are a whole bunch of different ideas in there on how to use pixels to positively affect the perception, um, mostly on math, but uh, really on education as a whole. Um, thank you. Have a great day, and uh, continue enjoying school.